Hi everybody, welcome to Create Arts Online. I'm Keisha Devenny. I am so excited to be here teaching another mixed media book. So using one folded piece of paper, like this, we will be creating what I'm calling a concertina affirmation book, which is this. I wanted to make this book because I'm not very disciplined in the actual act of writing in my journal. I prefer art journaling and letting my emotions out during the process of playing an affirmation. But with this book, I now have a simple practice of using affirmations by cutting out words from magazines. This is something I used to do a lot when I was younger, so it's been really fun to bring it back. And sitting down and clipping words, sentences, and even capturing individual letters for future is just very relaxing. It's easy to do, can be done in front of the TV, etc. And then just store it in a baggie until needed. And you should see all the baggies of collected words that I have saved. <clears throat> in this course, we will, we will learn techniques um, using acrylic paints, inks, paint pens, and more. I explore, explore layering with cool and warm colors. We create a lot of chaos, but then I also show a technique for calming that chaos and creating a balanced composition. After finishing our pages, it will be time to add our collected affirmations. We will be creating many frames using black and colored cardstock to proudly display these words that hold meaning to us. I will be discussing ways to add texture to our book with the addition of fabrics or using a sewing machine to add stitching to our affirmation frames and also along the edges of the book, which you can kind of see in here. Um, this is something that's totally optional, but I think it adds more texture and interest. Interest. I've included in this course a suggested list of materials and resources. So let's get started. Keisha, thank you so much for coming to Create Arts Online. Again, the mixed media book is just such a fun thing. And this concertina one with the affirmations, I'm just in love with. Thanks for having me again. It's always fun to be in Santa Barbara. Yes, we love <laughs> having you here. Um, before we really dive into the book, is this something any level of creator could make? It just seems like someone could sit down with some of the paper and just get going. Yes, absolutely. This is one of um, my more easier projects. I tend to do complex <laughs> projects, but this is one of like the behind her. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely one of the more easier projects, and actually I found it very relaxing to do this project, which... Um, it's nice, you know. Yes. Some projects can be intense, and after a while, you're tired and blah. Um, I found this one to be super relaxing. Really enjoyed the whole process of it. And gratifying. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I found it very gratifying just watching you do it. I was like, I got to make one of these. It's unbelievable. It's so I'm such an affirmation person. So mm -hmm. I just loved it that uh, you created this course. So talk a little bit about what inspired you and where this all comes from that you can sit down and do something so, you know, achievable and fun. Yeah, I like that word achievable. I do like that word. Um, I feel like we all always start out with great goals as far as like what we want to accomplish for the year. Like maybe we pick our word of the year or whatever. Yes. And then, you know, by February, it's like, I can't remember what my word was <laughs> or what my goals were. Um, and, you know, a lot, a lot of, there's been a lot of push lately about um, daily practices and, you know, mindfulness and all that stuff. And um, I have a hard time with all that daily practice stuff and juggling all that stuff. And, um, you know, even remembering, and I'll be honest, I don't really like to write in my art journals. Uh, it's just not something I'm fond of. And I kind of thought, well, why don't I just start gluing things now? <laughs> you know, <laughs> gluing is definitely very achievable. Um, so I just thought it would be really fun. We're going to go from just taking, you know, a plain, one piece of plain white paper and folding it in accordion style, which is where the word Constantina comes from, and then creating something like this. And um, just the practice of sitting down and cutting out from magazines. I think I had mentioned that I used to do that when I was um, younger in my 20s. And I would decoupage words and images on things. And so it really took me back to that. And, I, and that was a very nice, you know, throwback for myself. But at the same time, you know, I could be collecting words, cutting out sentences. And um, we talked about, like, the ransom letter look. That mm -hmm. always looks fun, even yeah. though it's this evil about some, someone's been kidnapped. <laughs> um, but it's still a really fun look. And so we just started playing on that and cutting out things that are very inspiring and power words and emotions and supportive and just things like that. And then just building these mini frames, something I hadn't even anticipated with the, the building of the layering of the frames. But as I started playing, I just felt stacking all those colors together on all this chaos that we created um, really lended itself to um, standing out and looking except exceptional. 
Yes, and the concertina thing is really great because you could do it with this style too, where you're just working in fabrics and things right. like that. Right. That it's not. It doesn't have to be all painted. Right. But, and Whoops. Then leave room. Let's go this side. Yeah, it's it, that's amazing too. So just learning the accordion technique, and then if you want to go down the painted route, watching Takesha do her painting with uh, the layering, and it's so relaxing watching you do the mark making because you really do it、oh, from a place of、I、just get, letting go. I get so zen mark making. I watch you get yeah, zen. Yeah, <laughs> I just get so zen doing. I could just do that all day. And then even so, on this side, when we're talking about calming down the chaos,、mm -hmm. I mean, even after flipped you, it over. Yeah, yeah. even after because it's double sided. So even after you、um, calm down the chaos, you. Can Can start the chaos right back up. <laughs> so to me, there's just no limit. And then show us how it folds up because I、oh, know we、yeah. just showed that one, but this is like it could be a gift. It could be added to someone's collection, but it's really incredible how. Look at that, and then there it is. And yeah, and then I have create.、Up. Yeah, you can make a little tie for it if you want. Great gift, great way to just learn how to play and explore. And I agree, a daily practice of just doing this. Is something that brings out positivity. When we bring out positivity and joy in our life, and you have those words to read, I think it's a win-win. The thing too about clipping magazine words is it can be so personalized. So you mentioned making a gift. You know, maybe your friend's going through something right now, or maybe someone just had a baby. I mean, it all can be catered towards that, which is like sort of themed, which is very fun. People、yes. love to make themed things. Yes. And、um, there also are many different types of concertina journals to create. So this is just one of them. This is the simplest way to start, and then once you get into it, you can start looking and. Figuring out how to、um, make different ones. That's awesome. All、maybe、with folding. We, yes, and maybe we'll have you back for concertina、oh, part two. There you go. <laughs> That's a kind of fun idea. Yes. But thank you so much for coming here, bringing this really gratifying and achievable techniques here to create arts online. Oh, you're welcome.